Chasing Wild Geese, A Dive into Idioms. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we make learning English fun and easy. Today, we're exploring an interesting English idiom, chasing wild geese. Have you ever heard someone use this phrase and wondered what it means? Well, you're in the right place. Let's unravel the mystery together and discover how to use this idiom in everyday conversations. Chasing wild geese is a variation of the more common idiom, a wild goose chase. It refers to a pointless pursuit or undertaking a task that is meaningless and has no hope of being successful. This phrase originates from a wild goose's habit of leading pursuers on a long, winding chase, with little chance of catching it. In essence, it's about engaging in something that wastes time because the goal is unreachable or the task is unachievable. The idiom, a wild goose chase, dates back to the 16th century. It was first recorded in Shakespeare's play, Romeo and Juliet, where it was used to describe a hopeless adventure or a fruitless endeavor. Over the years, the phrase has evolved but the essence remains the same, chasing after something that cannot be caught or achieved. Incorporating idioms like chasing wild geese into your conversations can make your English sound more natural and fluent. Here are a few examples of how you can use this phrase. One. Trying to get Jake to clean his room is like chasing wild geese. He'll never do it. 2. The project felt like we were chasing wild geese. After months of work, we found out it was not feasible. 3. I've been chasing wild geese trying to find this book out of print for years. By using this idiom, you can express the futility or pointlessness of an effort in a creative and illustrative way. While, chasing wild geese, is a less common variation, a wild goose chase, is widely used. Both convey the same message. Depending on the context, you might also hear people say, going on a wild goose chase, to describe the action of engaging in such futile endeavors. Thank you for joining us to explore the meaning and usage of, chasing wild geese. We hope this video has shed light on this intriguing idiom and you feel more confident using it in your English conversations. Remember, learning idioms is a great way to enrich your language skills and sound more like a native speaker. Until next time, keep practicing, and don't hesitate to reach out with any questions or topics you'd like us to cover. Happy learning!